Hi, this is Brother Boniface Mbow, STB. I know there are people out there whom I usually send my messages to. I write messages at night um, just trying to share my daily experiences from what I see, what I hear, and the things I witness from the media in my daily life with the people I meet. And uh, it's for this reason I thought of like to share this video so that at least those of you who don't know me would be able to see who this simple man is or this simple guy is. Uh, it's my pleasure to express my feelings through uh, what I share with you each and every time I send messages. It's not that I just go out there to look for things from the website or maybe somewhere. If it happens that I take something from the website, you receive it with a, uh, a where I recognize that I got it from somewhere. For example, there are some messages that I've been sending that have a name of a person who wrote it down, but most of those which I just bring about from my experience and those which I like uh, share out of my own feelings that I come to realize is the reality on this world. I just express them as they come. Uh, you might be wondering what draws me to be sending those messages that you receive every night or sometimes during the day. Uh, I'm one kind of a person who, when uh, something comes to my heart, or I come to think of something as I meditate, not only the meditation of sitting in the chapel, but uh, the meditation in my daily activities. As our founder, Don Bosco, would say, we are contemplative in action, that whatever we do, we contemplate, we meditate upon. So it helps me to come across things that uh, at the end of the day I feel they are not only meant for me but uh, I have to share with the people whom I feel they are close to me despite the distance that separates us physically. I would say you are separated from me as that we are not related in any way as others would say or others put it that uh, you are not my relative. For me, it's one thing which I found to be very much strong in my life that uh, each and every person is special and unique in my life. Therefore, I find it very, very important to take each and every person as part of my family. I don't look only to that family of biological uh, background, but uh, there is that connection that brings us together, the connection of you and me coming up to be one family. And this connection, we are very much aware of who we are, our roots, despite our tribal, uh, our tribes, our cultures being different, Sometimes even the race and uh, main aspects that we may look up upon to say there are our differences. So that does not count in my life, of which wherever I go, I feel it is my home. And I don't take my own parents to be that uh, they are my relatives or maybe my siblings, uh, that they are my closest relatives. For me, whoever contributes in my life in a positive way or in a negative way, that person comes to be part of my life and I take that person to be a close, close relative. Despite that we have no any 
connection as people would put it that we are only connected when we come from the same family for me that does not count the family i look upon is the ultimate family that is the family of god himself who made us for we all come from one god that is the thing that draws me to share with you what i have which i see or that i feel it is very much important both for you and me that we have to know something it just happens that sometimes uh, some of these messages they come as uh, an inspiration in my daily activities and uh, I just took them as uh, a lesson for life that uh, whatever I do despite that uh, um, we come from different places or we have different experiences those experiences are meant to be shared so that at least we understand from different angles how life is your experience and my experience differ but once we come to share we know how to handle some of the problems and that's the thing that usually draws me to share those uh, messages and uh, I have had uh, many challenges which uh, at times I face, which I would sometimes feel like let me for some time stop to send the messages due to some individuals who would respond in a negative way, despite that you encourage, but at the end they respond in a negative way by telling you to say, why are you wasting my bundles? Why are you wasting my top pack? All those things, maybe like uh, you are just wasting my space or the space in my uh, phone. It's wasted because of, of messages that are too long, all that. But uh, my question that just comes is how much space do we have? that cutter for nasty things, funny things, or would say things that does not positively educate someone, that cannot contribute positively to the life of someone, compared to a message that could only occupy a space of maybe 15 kilobytes. A kilobyte is something very small to a 15 megabytes joke or video that is a joke or a nasty joke. Now, here comes something that uh, we need to question ourselves upon that if I prefer having a joke of which can occupy a space of 15 megabytes in my phone, even more than that, then I deny a message that would build me not really as such as an audio or maybe a video, but just something that I can read within five minutes and meditate upon, then it helps me for the rest of my life. Why do I find it difficult to accept something small, free, which can help me to grow? Those are the questions sometimes which uh, challenge me and uh, at times I question myself, why is that people would love jokes compared to good message? And uh, the, among the challenges also which I face are those where a person would respond to say, why do you waste our time by sending those long messages? And you find someone reading a magazine which will not even benefit him. He will even take three days, four days, with a month on a stuff that cannot build up his life. And just a message which will only take two or three minutes and he says it is too long. If you compare with a joke, it might be even like not even a quarter of that joke message which has been sent to that person. So those are things which are like uh, find it difficult to understand and it pains quite right.
But again, what encourages me to continue with the same spirit of sending messages is that of there are some of you who, when you receive the message, when I don't send for two, three, four days, you question, why don't you send? I don't explain to you the reason why, because I sent what to write to many people, more than 300 people, I would say, because there I created over about uh, four to five broadcasting. At the same time, there are some groups who receive the messages. Now, if one person is not interested and comes to say you waste the time of others and especially if the person is in a group and comes to comment in that same platform that uh, why do you waste our time in, with such stuff it it brings about mixed feelings which does not even help the group and also there's some members who were interested they might be broke and uh, if a person stops sending those messages which you would like encourage others, how would it be for the rest? So those are the questions which sometimes I ask myself, why should I stop? Yes, it depends. People would comment nasty things, even a private tree send you messages telling you, no, why are you doing this to us, all those things. But your question again, which one is better, to send a joke or to send an encouraging message? Someone would feel as if you are counseling, but it's sort of counseling. It's something that we share out of faith and out of love that we have to accompany one another in faith. Nobody knows everything and it's through sharing that we come to know what God is really require of us. Uh, I'll be very happy to hear from each one of you that you feel good to find a message that uh, encourages you than to look at a message which just brings about laughter. Quite right, laughter is good, but after laughing, what do you gain from the, what you are laughing from? So. That's the thing which we should, which we should question ourselves. After reading something, what do I gain? May you reflect on this and just uh, think about it. If it's a good thing or not, you take it the way it is.